Welcome back to Great Day. Celebrating its 47th year, the Bayou City Art Festival is an event every Houstonian must experience. And here with more information, Jonathan Horowitz, Art Colony Association board member, and Lisa Morales, one of the 300 participating artists from around the world. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what I love about this show is a, a number of things. But uh, first of all, it's a juried selection, which means what? Correct. So we take applicants from literally all over the world, and there are thousands who apply to show their art at the festival every year. And we have a panel of experts, and they are the jury. And they determine the 300 artists who will actually show their work yeah. during the festival. And when they say art, you get arts of all kind. That's true. There's about 19 different disciplines that are represented. So it's not just canvases mm -hmm. like these. It's all kinds of uh, jewelry and glass and all, everything you can imagine. Yeah. Okay. So you got the phone call or the letter that the you email. were selected. Or the email yeah. that you were, you were right. selected. <laughs> and so that had to make you feel great. That made me feel great. I, uh, this show was really important to me because I'm from Houston and um, I applied, I want to say probably 15 times yeah. and was always waitlisted. So tenacity alone just keep reapplying, 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 and yeah. finally to break in was amazing. Those three letters, A-R-T, art, right. is a big part of your world in more yes. ways than one. We're kind of like right over here is a theater district, but you, right. were, you did things with Theater Under the Stars. You were a dancer for many years. Right. I grew up on the performing side uh -huh. of the art spectrum from about three years old until I was about 30. And then I, I flipped to the visual side almost a little bit by accident, took a drawing class in community college and fell in love with the visual side of art, even though I didn't think I'd ever had any potential to be a visual artist, but um, it happened. Yeah. I, I learned that it. you can learn it. You can learn how to do this kind of work. And this is this is amazing. It's an, it's a, an incredible type of thing that you do here. It all starts with little pieces of paper. Paper. Paper that I paint and texture. I create my own palette through the paper, and then I use the paper like a traditional oh. artist would use paint. So this is I, interesting, because, look, okay, so you have, your art goes like, okay, so it, it's like a, it could be sheet music, for example, right? right? And right. so you literally are creating this whole color, this palette, you're painting these pieces right. of paper. That's correct. Oh, that's amazing. And yeah. then you transfer it onto the canvas. How do you right. do this? Because I'm looking at it going, this is an awful lot of planning mm -hmm. and vision going on yeah, here. Yeah, it really is. This. So I have, my paper palette is, is ginormous. I have my papers uh, separated by color, and so I might have 200 pieces of orange. And so when I go to make a blue dog, I pull out the blue papers. You have I, organizational skills too, obviously. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. just a little bit, yeah. And um, so then I can uh, create the, the value and the textures by choosing the correct piece of paper to go in just the right spot. Yeah. And I tear them each one at a time by hand and they're glued down one at a time in like a jigsaw puzzle fashion. And of course the other thing that makes this festival unique is that the artists are always there. So yeah. you get a chance to really share with people. I know, and that's amazing, yeah. And when they find out that the pieces are made out of paper, they something happens, it becomes a little more special to them when they yeah. can see all the tiny pieces of paper and all the markings and all the text and the graphics that are that are there. They, that's I, really just, I look at this and I see both sides of the brain working. There's a creative mm -hmm. side of the brain and yeah. the other side that has to really plan and, and make all of that happen. Um, this is not only a great art festival for us to go buy art and, and, and uh, take home, but it also benefits a charitable need in the city as well. Sure, it's a, it's a wonderful event that we put on uh, twice a year and we have charity partners. All of the money that we bring in uh, helps put on the festival, but then we turn around and give it to other nonprofits in town. Uh, for example, like the Museum of Fine Art, um, Recipe for Success, other really, really wonderful nonprofits. Uh, they help us put on the festival, and then we in turn uh, give all the proceeds out to them as well. So uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to spend an afternoon. Of course, now the weather is fantastic. Yeah. It's a perfect weekend to bring the entire family out. There's a uh, children's creative zone as well, so there's stuff for the kids to do. There's you never stuff know, for that might at. spark something in your child and they could become the next Picasso or something, right? Absolutely, that's what we hope for. Yeah, we no, always it's really hope for that. Cool. And it, it, you've impacted generations. I know my son has always loved this festival and he was out in the children's art zone and, and thought he created a masterpiece. He was actually trying to figure out how to price it. And I was like, well, it's priceless to me, honey. We'll take it home. Well, that's right? good. He's learning business as well yeah, at the yeah, same right? time. And then there's, uh, there's food out there. And just yes, food trucks. Uh, there's uh, performers as well. Um, there's it's it's a really really wonderful way to spend a, a weekend day uh, here in downtown Houston it, right in the arts district as we are and uh, we, we encourage everybody to bring the family out and uh, enjoy it yeah and I always ask artists you can't eat it drink it sleep it why is it so important that we do it oh it, because of what it makes you feel I think yeah. I think it brings a little bit of joy and uh, happiness which we all need 
right now into our life. Every time I look at my work, even when it's old, I still smile at it. Yeah. It just makes me really happy. It takes you to a place. You know where you were when you came up with the idea right. when you did it, all right? Yeah. And that's why it's so important for us to have the artists there so that they can actually talk about it and tell their story. And, and it makes a big difference on the people who are experiencing the art, not just buying it. Yeah, all right. You're a graduate of HSPVA. I am, in all the right. dance department. Yes, yeah. we have Alexis Jones, who is one of our producers. She's like, that's her, long, yeah, that, that's where she went to school as well. So y'all are connecting right there. Okay, the Bayou City Art Festival downtown is happening Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tickets are available online and at the gate. For more information, visit greatdayhouston.com. And Alexis, I want you to start bringing like paintings to work.